Hello internet, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to terminate a Cat5 Ethernet cable. Okay, so we have our cable here already made and here's one with a sleeve on. Now this is just a piece of Cat5 E cable that's, that I have lying around. So what we'll do is we'll cut this off. So the tools you're gonna need, you need something to strip the wires with, either this or some snippers. Most crucial, you need the crimper to crimp the end on. You need either some sleeves, but again, these are optional, and the actual plug ends themselves. So, okay, so we've got the end of the cable here. Now what we need to do is just nibble the end of the cable to reveal the nylon draw cord. What I do is just give it a little bite and then give it a twist. That should pull that off like so. And then we've got this nylon draw cord and we can just wrap something around that and pull that down like so and then pull that back and what you want to do is just cut it where we originally nibbled it in case you accidentally damaged the cable there so we can cut that off so we got the end here now for now it doesn't matter how long these wires are what we need to do now is we need to go on Google and because I always forget and we need to look at the color code so now we just want to get the wires in the correct order so okay so what I recommend doing is splaying the cable out into the individual colors and then arranging them in the correct order okay so they're all in the correct order now what we want to do is kind of pinch them together And then you want to flatten them over your thumb like that. You see how I've got them flattened? And then I wiggle them back and forth like so. So that just, again, flattens them into one long piece. So this is what I call the, I don't know, finger wiggle. So you see how they've kind of all kind of stayed in the correct order, but now they're flat. So again, just... Put your thumb over like this and then push like that and then wiggle them okay now you just trim the edge off so take some cutters now what we need to do is we need to trim them so trying to get a knack of how long to do it you kind of want the edge of the plastic sheathing to fall in this little butt bit here So you see the way we flatten them out, they're kind of all staying in the correct order. So what we now need to do is put our crimp over the edge. And you notice, look, when we put our crimp on, oh, they're starting to move. Push that down. There we go. Push that over the top double check our order is correct so we now take our crimper again double check our order is correct yep place it in and squeeze it down like so so now we've completed our ethernet cable it's best to check it with one of these devices now this comes in two pieces so plug one in at one end one in at the other end and then we plug in our ethernet cable into the top now as you can see these lights on here so this will just flicker through so as we can see we've got pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, pin 6, pin 7 and pin 8 so they all match correctly now if you had a crossover cable obviously these these uh, middle ones would, would differ uh, and if any of the pins wasn't terminated on the plug you wouldn't see a light so it would just skip it so that's how you would know you have a, a problem so thanks for watching hopefully this helped and goodbye